of Cinnamon Toast Crunch or to enter free write Box 5464 Minneapolis, Minnesota. We won! Ain't nothing like a real thing, baby! This holiday season, serve the very best at any gathering. Serve delicious chicken tenders from Burger King. Ain't nothing like a real thing! Chicken tenders are all white meat breast fillets, not formed bits and pieces of chicken like McNuggets. Plus, they're cooked in 100% vegetable oil. So pick up chicken tenders from Burger King. This holiday, how could you serve anything less than the best? Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Oh, 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 the night before Christmas, an Oreo cookie's waiting for a special guest. I'll just take a little rest. Ho, 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 is that kid with the Oreo cookies eating all the luscious chocolate, licking all the creamy middles, dunking all the crunchy cookies like he did when he was little. It's so hard to hide the kid inside with Christmas and O-R-E-O. -E Let's go. they were bored. But then I found Radio Shack's incredible selection of electronic games. He's rescuing the fair maiden with the Kingman game. She's exploring dangerous new worlds with Zackman. And with the alien chase game, he can do space battle with an opponent or by himself. <clears throat> there are more gifts if anyone's bored. I won! Fascinating electronic games from $7.95 to $59.95 only at Radio Shack. Come with me to a place you'll be glad that you did. Get free! And so much more I want to sell with Toys R Us Kids. Guess what we want, Jeffrey? You won Cabbage Patch Kids. And everything Cabbage Patch is at Toys R Us. We've got the most Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids World Travelers. Collect them all. Wow. The Show Pony and Kid. The whole world of Coleco's Cabbage Patch Kids at out of this world prices. It's the world's biggest toys for us. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off. Stop the clapper. clapper. Let you turn things on or off from anywhere in the room. Just plug in the clapper and a television, lamp, stereo, almost anything you want to clap on and off. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off. Stop the clap. Clapper. Clapper is available at Meyer, Perry, Hills, and Osco. Can I get you? Oh, uh, some hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. All by yourself tonight, huh? Yeah. Well, I let everyone go home early. That was nice of you. Say, you know what the hotel room looked like? Well, how have I been this year? Naughty? How much 
do I owe you. Tonight, it's all the A holiday tradition for 21 years. I've killed it. It's time once again for America's favorite Charlie Brown adventure. It's an Emmy Award winning special. It's a Charlie Brown Christmas. Then he's back, the original cool guy. And this time he's going to melt your heart. So chill out with Frosty the Snowman. Share the holiday spirit Friday on CBS. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe's there! G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. in your future. <laughs> hey, shipwreck, where's your holiday spirit? Yeah, let's have some Yuletide cheer. We collected enough toys to beat last year's record. They're going to make the kids at Children's Hospital real happy. Cobra Rattler! Happy holidays from Wild Weasel, you Christmas turkeys! Look out! or we'll be eating asphalt! Head for that rock pile up ahead! Got it, cover girl! Ah, oh, made it! Close call! Close call! Yeah, but now what? That rattler could keep us pinned down till next Christmas. Wild Weasel to Cobra Commander. Firefly's mission is accomplished. Returning to base. Why'd he take off? He had us. Who cares? He's gone. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. wanted one of these when I was a lad. Charming, isn't it now? The place looks awfully deserted, Duke. Most of the Joes took holiday leave. We were attacked by a rattler on our way here. If Cobra mounts a full assault while we're short-handed... They'd never get through our automatic defense grid, cover girl. your lips and feast your eyes. Roadblock cooked you a big surprise. Andre, <laughs> you outdid yourself. Do will you do the honors? You bet. Who wants a leg? <laughs> Junkyard, I might have guessed. <laughs> That's one hungry dog, Mutt. Yeah. I'll uh, chow down later, okay? I don't want to be alone for a while. What's wrong with Mutt? Beats me, Tripwire. Holiday blues, I guess. <laughs> now that's loyalty. How many dogs would give up a turkey leg to mope around with their master? 
can't help it, Junk. This time of year always makes me sad. You see, well, when I was a kid, my folks made such a fuss about the holidays, they didn't have time for me. Uh, I never got to trim the tree or wrap presents. Uh, they never even let me hang up my own stocking. Now, every year, I get this left out feeling. And... Junk, you hear something? <laughs> Rockin' horse! We've been snookered! I don't believe this! Gotta sound the alarm, Chunk! The alarm! Let's go! Baroness, to the defense grid! On my way, Major Blood. Job. Season's greetings. <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now back to G.I. Joe. You are relieved of command, Sergeant Duke Hauser. G.I. Joe Headquarters is now occupying territory! No way, Tin Face! Yo, Joe! Yo, Joe! Fools, open fire! Cobra! Cobra! with us. Perhaps he prefers our company. And maybe I'm the Queen of England. Somebody break your pop gun, Destro. Imbecile. This molecular reducer enlarger represents a decade of research. Destro, it's accomplished its purpose brilliantly. We now have the jaw weapons and vehicles we need for tomorrow's attack on Keystone City. You're gonna attack a city? With our gear? To make the government think we're behind it. Yes. 
A tragic mistake, but quite understandable, especially after they've seen this. Citizens of Keystone City, this is Sergeant Duke Hauser, G.I. Joe team leader. We're tired of serving our country. It's time the country started serving us. As of 1100 hours, the Joes declare your city under martial law, our law. Resistance will be met with deadly force. That is all. What have you done to him, you monster? I haven't done a thing, have I, Duke? No, Master, not a thing. It can't be. Right you are. But try telling it to the folks in Keystone City. Zartan. <laughs> Tomorrow, the real Duke will be aboard my Sky Striker. This will confirm that the Joes have turned traitor. The heck we have. Take them away where they won't cause any mischief. Somewhere in keeping with the season. Yes, put them on ice. Remember, mate, keep cool. I've just decided I hate puns. If we don't get out of here quick, we'll be a bunch of jawsicles. You know, me and that side of beef could have a meaningful relationship. Is your brain frostbitten or what? Come on, cover girl, you got no imagination. Just watch. Progress report, Major Blood. Can your troops fly the Joe aircraft? Ruddy piece of cake, Commander. Another hour and we'll be ready. See that you are. If I can just get a grip, I can lift myself off this hook. Ah, snowball's chance, snowball's chance. Shut up, will you? I got it. Gloating is childish, Cobra Commander. Gloating? I simply wish to bid our friends a final farewell. What's this? Such gloom on a lovely holiday morning, and after I brought you all a present. Present? Of course. The key to your handcuffs. I'll hang it right here. Just out of reach. <laughs> and while you reflect on my generosity, remember that more presents are coming your way. Tons of them! <laughs> there. If the microcircuits are still intact, the reducer in larger should function properly. Not that it matters now. <laughs> the Joes are finished. Don't mail the invitations to your victory party yet, Destro. Tripwire, check the airfield. You needn't bother. Cobra Commander and the others have departed to attack Keystone City in your vehicles and in your name. We'll stop them somehow, Destro. We still have you. Do you? Or do I have you? <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. This molecular reducer and larger can shrink you to subatomic nothingness! <laughs> Roger, Buster! Get away from me! Get away! Smother him! Smother him! <sighs> okay, let him up. Easy, Mutt. We got him. Sounds like something's loose. Dad, blame it! Not only did Cobra steal our gear, they gave us flies! Hold it! That's no fly! It's... 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 Polly. Help! 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 Cover girl, give me that gun. 
Hold still, I'll fix that bird. Are you loco? You'll hit shipwreck! <laughs> this thing's got a two-way switch. Whatever it shrinks, it can also expand. <laughs> Poor Polly. I'm gonna miss you during the battle with Cobra, pal. But not very much. Hey guys, we're stuck with Cobra equipment. But it's gonna have to do. Shucks! We can beat them Cobra Owl Hoots flying cardboard boxes! Then let's do it! Yo! Gotta stop Cobra before they reach Keystone City! Yo, Joe! <laughs> this is a lot of hooey. Martians land in Hoboken. No work I could believe, but Hoboken? <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> I thought G.I. Joe was supposed to be on our side. You can't win, Commander. The people will fight back. Then the people will be destroyed. And the whole world will blame G.I. Joe. <laughs> G.I. Joes? I thought they were heroes. So did I, son. So did I. You'll never get away with this, Commander. Oh, no? Just watch me. <laughs> Full throttle, you fools! We're not being paid to miss the battle. Claw, one of ours! But who's flying it? Nice shooting, Blowtorch! But we've still got one tall job ahead of us. Surprises, isn't it? Up ahead! Cobra's in our vehicles. Is nothing sacred? Hey, what's going on? Surprise! Those three are history. Now let's get the Baroness. You've escaped your confinement! Well, you won't escape this! Oh, that witch has a way with a laser ray! Whoa, Bill! There's a dragonfly on your tail! Not for long! Nobody can do that with a fang! Nobody! Well, I am! Nobody! Oh, feel like I just lost my best horse! The masquerade is over, Baroness! Ah! Hate to see our equipment get blasted like that! What's gotta be's gotta be! seem to be disappearing, Commander! Impossible! You've had your warning, Cobra Commander. Land, or next time I won't miss. 
She's bluffing. If she shoots me down, you'll go too. She'd never risk that. Fortunately, I've no such qualms about eliminating her. <laughs> you wish? Let go! Let go of me! Unless you surrender! Surrender? Cobra will never surrender! Ah! Happy landings, Duke! Everybody okay? All accounted for except Duke. Hey, shipwreck! Is this a friend of yours? Yeah! My worst nightmare come true! Uh, <laughs> hiya, Polly! Uh, remember old shipwreck, your buddy? Y your pal? Well, cover girl, Merry Christmas. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. And you? Okay. But what are we gonna do about that rather large bird over there? Whatever he says, Duke, whatever he says. Yeah, I guess we'd better. At least until we fix Destro's gun. Oh. Got you a little present, Duke. Oh, what's that? The key to your handcuffs. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Merry Christmas, Duke. <laughs> Son of a gun. It is Christmas, Junkyard. You know, all of a sudden, I don't feel bad anymore. Merry Christmas, you old hound dog. Merry Christmas, Joes. Merry Christmas, Christmas Joes. everybody. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas! Christmas! Ah, bah, humbug. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Since Taco Bell got these rainbow bright sprites, we've had nothing but chaos. They couldn't just sit here and be cute. No, they had to sneak out and try the food. Now they're into the nachos, the taco salads. Nothing is safe. So why not get one to liven up your place? They're just $1.99 with each $2 meal at Taco Bell. But hurry, huh? I can't hold these guys down forever. Rainbow bright sprites only at Taco Bell. Pick up a kid's meal and get a special prize. Collect all three now at Taco Bell. Merry Christmas, Sarah. For a limited time, near to where you buy 7-Up, you'll find a very special Countdown to Christmas poster. And it's yours free just for buying 7-Up and I 7-Up. What a great way to share in the feeling of Christmas. It's the perfect time to stock up on 7-Up's clear, crisp, clean refreshment. And kids get to build Santa's beard as they count off the days to Christmas. Get your free Countdown to Christmas poster when you buy 7-Up. 7-Up has the feeling of Christmas. These lonely pound puppies need someone to love. Someone who'd love a little puppy love. You, Grandma. Pound puppies are as cuddly as real puppies. He'll keep you company in the dorm. They're the perfect way to say I love you. For birthdays, holidays, or any day. Pound puppies, so soft and adorably lonely. Sometimes the hardest thing about giving them. Merry Christmas. Is giving them up. Pound puppy, you're my one and only puppy love. Sunday, sworn enemies thrown together. Two brothers and one woman in a cross-country race to save a town in trouble. But will they get there in time to make a very special delivery? We got a lady on board and she is in labor. My stars and garters. John Schneider and Tom Wolfat. Christmas comes to Willow Creek Sunday. 
Lundy will now gives the tree a real trimming. Merry Christmas! Will the family give him the axe? Let's move on to New Year's. Now, then. An Amazing Stories Encore Celebration. Got that bag and raise those mittens. The Christmas one boy can save. Monday. This is the right way home. Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies, Winston. Terrific. This is the last time we take a job in upstate New York. Especially if our client has anything to say about it after what happened. I still say it wasn't my fault. I told her to keep the cat out of my way. I mean, it's not like the fur won't grow back or anything. Forget it, Ray. I guess we're all just a little bugged about having to work on Christmas Eve. Right, Peter? Doesn't bother me. Christmas is just another day. Now this is weird. I don't remember seeing this fork in the road on our way up. Do you, Egon? No, but given our general direction and the presumed location of the turnpike, I'd say go left. You know, I could be mistaken, but this doesn't look like a turnpike. Shall we put it to a vote? Not now, Peter, okay? Come on, girl. Just a little further, you can do it. Come on! I knew I should have worn my long undies. What a way to spend Christmas Eve, eh, Peter? Typical. Come on, let's see if we can find a phone somewhere. What's with him? He always gets grumpy about this time of year. Christmas isn't Peter's favorite season. His father was always away at Christmas. That affects you after a while. It's easier to shrug that off if you pretend you don't care about Christmas. And you pretend it long enough, pretty soon you believe it. Oh, boy, this thing is steeper than it looks. I just hope there's something on the other side. Whoa, anybody get the number of that truck? Hey, over here, I found civilization. Wow, talk about your basic old neighborhood. This place is ancient. It's also not on the map as far as I can remember. It's almost like something out of Victorian England. Old or not, they've got to have a phone booth somewhere. Come on. Is it... is it ready? Ah, here now, Bob Cratchit. Have I ever let you down before? Oh, it's a fine bird, truly fine. I only wish it could be bigger. There are so many of us. He's a wonderful dog, Father. This will be our best Christmas ever. Ah, that it will, Tim. But it won't do us any good if we don't get it home to your mother in time to cook it. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. And to you and yours, Bob. By my soul, Elizabeth, have you ever seen anyone with as much joy of living as Tiny Tim? Makes you wish his father didn't have to work for that miserable old miser, Mr. Scrooge. What the heck was that? Sounded like it came from over there. Picking up strong readings from inside. 
right there. There it goes! I'm picking up other presences. Big. Powerful. They're coming in at 12 o'clock high. A Ghostbusters work is never done. I will not go with you! Get away from me, spirits! Leave me be! Don't just stand there, man! Do something! You think nobody's ever heard of the word please? Young says no! You do him far more disservice than us! Release us, or you and all Christmases to come will pay the price! Yeah, yeah, we've heard it before. No! No! You... you've done it! I'm as happy as an angel. I'm as merry as a schoolboy. <laughs> and we're the Ghostbusters. Well, now that we've introduced ourselves, uh, can we use your phone? I'm sorry, I haven't got a... phone, did you say? Uh, but, oh, gentlemen, you have my eternal, unwavering gratitude. What you've done here tonight... ...will cost you some pretty big bucks if you'd like to write out a check. Money? You, you charge money for this service? Why, this is an outrage! If I'd known it would cost me, I'd have dealt with them myself. Why, I can't even be sure those were real ghosts. They could have been tricks, or, or something I ate. An undigested bit of beef, a, a blot of mustard, a fragment of an underdone potato. There's more of gravy than of grave to those ghosts. We're talking money and he's talking lunch. I'd say we were at an impasse, wouldn't you? Right. Okay, Egon, let him loose. No, no, wait! So be it. But this I'll pay, and not a shilling more. You've got to be kidding. Do you know how much our services cost? We've got... Yes, Ray, is this some primitive means of telling me you'd like a conference? Wow, look at this, Peter. It's 1837 in mint condition. You'd think it'd been made yesterday. On second thought, uh, this'll do. Have a nice day. Come on, guys. So, you're not so powerful as I'd thought. Well, no one interferes with Ebenezer Scrooge's sleep. From this day forward, it's war. Christmas. Bah, humbug. Unseasonal weather for December, wouldn't you say? We've circled back the way we came. Well, might as well try one more time. Maybe this time it'll catch. Well, all right. Coming, Egon? I just keep thinking there's something very familiar about what happened. As if it's all happened before. Oh well. Okay, Egon, you go load up the ghosts. We're gonna get the Christmas tree. Aren't we, Peter? Christmas. Fooey. A tree? For Christmas? Bah! Nah! But I thought you liked Christmas. How very odd. Hmm. Hi, Merry Christmas. Bye, humbug. At least they know how to keep the Christmas spirit over here. I love how they always decorate Fifth Avenue. Christmas Humbug by Ebenezer Scrooge. But, but that's the guy we helped. That's impossible. How could we help Scrooge? 
unless we went back in time. Oh boy. That strange disturbance we encountered when we went over the hill. It must have been a time slip, a door to the past. Ebenezer Scrooge. Then those ghosts we trapped, they must have been the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Well, everyone knows that story. In 1837, Scrooge defeated the three Christmas ghosts all by himself. Since then, Christmas has been gone, and good riddance. We went back in time, and by changing the past, we changed the present. No problem. We took the ghosts. All we have to do is put them back, right? But Egon's about to dump those ghosts in the containment unit. Once they're inside, we'll never get them out. I don't know. Doesn't seem like that big a deal if you ask me. Egon, no, wait! Those three ghosts, Egon, are they? Of course, I just finished now. Egon, you sure you can't let those three loose without letting them all out? Correct, but why would we want to? Oh no, I can't believe it. We've really done it this time. What? what? What did we do? We just killed Christmas, Egon. Christmas is gone. Forever. Bah humbug! Bah humbug! Bah humbug you! Bah, bah humbug you! Hey, pinhead! Bah humbug! Bah humbug! Okay? Hey, I'll give you Christmas cookies all over me. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, so let me get this straight. One, we went back in time. Two, we changed history, so Scrooge won. And three, now no one celebrates Christmas anymore. Fascinating. There's only one solution. We've got to go back in time and return the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future to Scrooge's place. Yes, the time slip we passed through may still be in place. But we'll have to hurry. Time is passing on both sides. Christmas Eve will be over soon. Question is... How do we open the way for those three to get out and not let all the other ghosts escape? There is a way. I can jerry-rig a device that will open a hairline fracture in the containment grid. But that means getting the ghosts to the right place at exactly the right time. Good theory, only how do we do it? Simple. I'll go inside the unit and find them. Hmm. Pulse seems normal. Are you sure you haven't hit your head? I don't get it. I mean, big deal. Christmas is just another day. Just another day. <laughs> sound familiar, Peter? I didn't sound like that. Besides, that was different. Okay, Egon, you're right. But we'll all go into the containment unit. No good. This might not work. You'll have to go back ahead of me. If I get the ghosts, I'll join you at Scrooge's. And if you don't make it out? Then you three will have to become the three ghosts of Christmas. Why do I get the distinct feeling I'm not going to enjoy this? This is going to be very difficult, Janine. I... I'll need your help. All right, Egon. Just as long as you know I'm doing it for you and not this c c c Christmas. Bah humbug! Christmas. Humbug! Fascinating. This must be the place. The time slip to Scrooge's day should be right over that hill. I still don't think Scrooge is going to believe this, guys. I don't even believe it. <laughs> Come on, Peter. Have a little faith, a little Christmas spirit. Are you kidding? Christmas spirits got me into this in the first place. <sighs> yeah, and maybe that's something you ought to think about. Hmm, let's see. Where to begin? Yes, that's it. A title. A Christmas Humbug by Ebenezer Scrooge. I dare say I like the ring of that. Okay. Everybody ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm as ready as I'll get. But I want you to know I think this is not exactly dignified. <laughs> Jack, I'm Peter. I mean, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. That 
can't be. You were defeated. I saw it myself. <laughs> You've changed. And you're still the same. Depressing, isn't it? If you're really the ghost of Christmas past, where's your aura, your glow? Oh, yeah, right. Let's see, where's the switch for the magnesium flares? Oh, yeah. You want auras? You get auras. Very well, spirit. I believe you. What is it you wish of me? Scrooge, baby, we're going to do our version of This Is Your Life. All right, Janine. Everything's set. This will destabilize my molecular density enough for me to be put into the containment unit for one hour. And if you're not back in one hour? Then I'll be trapped inside permanently. <gasps> oh, no! Now, no matter what happens, keep this portal open, or I'll never get out. Wish me luck. Slimer, let's watch in the monitor upstairs. Oh, <laughs> 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 What's he doing? Oh boy. Spirit, can we not stop flying now? Not yet. And don't touch the magic window. We'll fall. Here. What do you see now? Why, it's the school I attended. Why, I grew up there. I was a boy there. Yes. I remember that schoolroom all too well. I spent many Christmases alone there, my father off on some business or other, but I survived. My books were my friends. What more does a boy need? A lot more. I sure did. What did you say, Spirit? Nothing. Uh, now hang on. We're gonna fly even higher this time. Which way? Never gonna get out of there. Slimer? Never around when you need him. Flight's over, Scroogey. Thank you for flying Venkman Airlines. Now, what have you learned? Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry. Was I supposed to be learning something? Were you supposed to? You were supposed to learn that just because you had a rotten past, that's no reason to blame Christmas. Lots of us had Christmases that weren't the best, but if you give up, you just end up denying yourself what you're so mad about never having had before. I think maybe that's a lesson we could all stand to learn. Well, I suppose, but I'm not quite convinced yet, Spirit. Well, then you've got two more chances. Yes, sir, as soon as I'm gone, the ghosts of Christmas present and future are going to pay you a little visit. And there, the workhouses, where you said to send the poor. See them? No, spirit! Well, hang around. We'll swing past again in a second. Where's Egon? I don't think Scrooge is going to be convinced by just us. We can't let Christmas down, Peter. We can't. It's no good, Egon. Come back. The hour's almost over. You'll be trapped. Got it. There they are. 
Hurry, follow me. Trouble, Janine. I think the other ghosts here have figured out what's up. They'll try to beat us to the portal. We can't let them escape. Get to the grid device, Ginny. Fast! If they start to come through, turn it off. Forget about me, but don't let them escape. Good work, Janine. No time to talk. Please, inside. It's faster. First syllable it sounds like... This isn't gonna work. We failed. Not yet. Look! I got them. I got them. All right, Egon. Catch! You will be visited this night by three spirits. Three more? Uh, I'm not sure I can stand it. The first will come at one, the second at two, the third will come whenever. Now, Ebenezer Scrooge, farewell. Now, as my brother Christmas Future might say, let's take it from the top. Well, did we do okay? Yeah. You think old Scrooge will learn his lesson? I, I think he'll learn his lesson, as I assume you too have learned yours. That is, of course, why you are here. Believe me, I have. I don't think I ever appreciated Christmas until I lost it. Honest. Now... Can we go home? <laughs> of course. You had only to ask. Take hold of my robe. That's it. How did we... I mean, we were just at Scrooge's place. What a way to travel. Question is, did it work? Is Christmas back? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry I'd say it worked out just fine. And a Happy New Year. So I propose a toast to Ebenezer Scrooge and the three ghosts of Christmas. Hear, hear, hear. You know, it's funny. I always thought all that was just a story. Makes you wonder what else might be real. <laughs> on Dancer, on Prancer, on Downer, on Blitchen. Nah, couldn't be. Then again, why not? Christmas to all! And, and, and to, to all, all, a good night! Eve, Bertie and Grimace wandered McDonald's land in search of... A gift for Ronald. Got any bright ideas? When lo and behold, a little star hopped from the heavens and twinkled down to Earth. Look, Grimace, a falling star. Ooh, maybe we can catch it. And so they did. You'll make the perfect gift for Ronald. The little star was wrapped and ribboned and given... But, oh, dear me. Twinkle, it didn't. You see, Bertie and Grimace, a star can never belong just to me. It belongs way up high for everyone to see. So let's wish him home, where he'll twinkle and glow. And so they did, as they stood in the snow. Look, the star's back at home in the sky. 
good as new. And I have the best gift of all. Friends like you. Happy holidays from McDonald's. Mama Toys R Us kids. There's a million toys and toys R Us that I can play with. Jeffrey, guess what we want? You want Rubber Dub Doggy. He's making a real big splash of Toys R Us for just $9.97 from Ideal. <laughs> the famous Chipmunks. Wow, only $8.87 each. Just $4.97 each for Ideal's Robo Force. And just $11.97 for their Robo Cruiser. More games, more toys. Oh, boy. I want to be a Toys R Us. Get in the spirit of the season with a solid gold Christmas. Join Barry Manilow, Donna Summer, Ann Murray, and James Ingram. Plus, Laura Branigan, Roberta Flack, John Schneider, and Jerry Reed. It's 40 holiday classics with Suzanne Summers, America, Sister Sledge, and host Crystal Gale and Rick D. Deck the halls and spread the cheer. There's a solid gold Christmas coming right here. Saturday at 8 on Channel 2. There's only one. Famous Christmas Square. Tonight, Herb and I will be your hosts on, on a, a tour through the magical musical world of Christmas carols. <laughs> We're going to hear some really wonderful music, right, Rex? Uh, thank you, Herb. <clears throat> Thematically speaking, we'll be looking at Christmas carols as they relate to specific traditions. Of... Yeah, songs about Christmas trees and stacks of gifts, reindeer and jingling bells, holiday ballets, Santa Claus, universal joy, and Christmas snacks. There is not a carol about snacks. First up is that beautiful and haunting American classic, We Three Kings, composed around 1857. Here we come a-waffling along, so green. Here we come a-waffling, so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you, and to you your waffle too. And God me, God me, but you're making a lyrical error in that fine old Christmas carol. Now, the key word, my good fellows, is wassailing, not... Not waffling. Well, uh, what the heck's wassailing? Uh, wassailing, uh, yeah, yes. You're uh, so smart. What's a wassail? Yeah, I thought it was waffling. Uh, hers? Oh, it tastes like waffle. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, and I want one with extra butter, please. Uh, anyway, uh, We Three Kings, based on the journey of kings Melchior, Caspar, and Balthasar. of Orient are bearing gifts we travel so far field and fountain moor and mountain fall we yonder star oh, star wonder star of night star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceed Born a king on Bethlehem plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night. Incense to offer have I, incense on the deity high, prayer and praising all men raising, worship him God most high. Oh, 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 star of wonder, star of night, star of royal beauty bright, westward leading. 
saints still proceeding Guide God us to their perfect light Glorious now behold him arise King and God and sacrifice Wasn't that delightful? Besides, Rex, maybe waffle is an old word that means waffle. After all, what could be more Christmassy than a thick stack of syrup-drenched waffles? Hmm. As usual, Herb, there you go letting history take a back seat to your stomach. Uh, the ringing of the bells at Christmas time is a holdover from early midwinter celebrations. When the earth was cold and the sun was dying, evil spirits were very powerful. And one of the ways to drive evil off was by making a great deal of noise. As making noise was all so fun, bell ringing ceremonies became a part of the spirit of Christmas. Uh, next on our program is the exquisite Carol of the Bells. This isn't driving you off. A good evening. Tonight our concert is with the Paris Bell Harmonic, the house orchestra here at Notre Dame Cathedral. I have a hunch they'll give us a wonderful performance under the baton of Maestro Quasimodo. <laughs> Uh, who was that conductor? Oh, I don't know. But, you know, his face sure rings the bell. Oh. One of the most beloved symbols of Christmas is the Christmas tree. Festooned with lights and ornaments. And candy and... canes and popcorn chains. Yes, of course, sir. Uh, the Christmas tree has come to represent the focal point of the Yuletide celebration. Uh, o. Tannenbaum, an exceedingly well known. Here we come a waddling so fair to be seen. Come enjoy the Christmas tree. Come to you, and to you we are waddling too. And ladies, ladies, please. 
please. The correct refrain is wa so, not wa do. I'd like one of those purple ones. And strawberry green, apple green. The simple and lovely Christmas tree carol. says here, wassail is derived from the Celtic word for lamb's wool. Must be an old sheep shearing song. It's not a sheep shearing song, you bonehead. Wassail comes from the Anglo-Saxon wassail, which means be in health. So... Next on the show, my own personal favorite, interpretive ice ballet. <clears throat> uh, the carol Angels We Have Heard on High had its origins... In and we are more than honored to have the prima ballerina, De Margot Pontoon. Oh, and her world-renowned partner, Rudolph Nerves on Edge, interpret the carol for us.
Oh, what I'd give to ice dance with that Margot. There's no ice thick enough for the two of you. Uh, we'll be right back. Our next number was composed by a 15-year-old boy who sought in song to express the true Christmas spirit. Isaac Watt wanted a carol that expressed jubilation. Here we come a wallowing along the wind so green. Here we come a wallowing so fair to be seen. What? Joy come to you. Uh, Herb, I believe we were discussing young Isaac Watt. Uh, right. Uh, the young genius based his carol around a single word. Uh, a word that best expresses the love and kinship that are at the very heart of Christmas. The word that he chose was... Joy! <laughs> Delicious. Uh, yes, uh, joy to the world. Isn't that wonderful? It's wassailing, I tell you. It's wassailing. Oh, I do believe it is waffle. That has been my impression. Our next carol is that fabulous and incredibly popular Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Interpreted by that singing and dancing Wait, no, sensation, the California Raisins. Oh, too, but they're saying... Good crowd for Christmas Eve, fellas, man. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. fly. Mm -hmm. we, no kidding. Hey, I really enjoyed that. Hey, we put on a good nice, show. Ooh, they right. like that grapevine. Mm -hmm. It's been deserted out here, though. Did you see that big old grapevine? <laughs> Excellent gig, guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> there goes the last bus. So call me a cab. Hey, man. You're a cab. Oh. <laughs> no sweat. It's Christmas Eve. Next reindeer's due any minute. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Come on, now. Going you on know, now. there's Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen.
come on, come on, and grab my sleigh tonight, yeah. Uh, cheer up, Rex. It's wassailing. I know it's wassailing. That's it. Somebody's got it right. It's always to you and to you your wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. Here we come, a wassailing so, along the So, what does it mean? Come on, wassailing? Why, just going around the neighborhood singing Christmas carols, receiving treats, and Christmas cordials. Now that I like. Let's walk off! Here we come, a wassailing among the leaves of green. Here we come, a wassailing so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you. We'll be right back. Here we come a wassailing along the leaves of green. Herb. Here we come a wassailing so fair Herb. to be seen. Love and joy come to you and to you you wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. Herb. And God send you a happy new year. Uh, uh, Herb, haven't you had enough Christmas goodies? I told you there was a song about snacks. Uh, say good night, Herb. Good night, Herb. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for our Claymation Christmas Carol. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Just one thin dinner mint. On the first day of Christmas, I left the Hallmark store With the stuff toiling Rodney Reindeer On the next day, I bought Rhonda, and then I added more Now five to the song of four, dance with Rhonda Hallmark, thank you Three coffee toys, two girls and boys, one more for the treat And the stuff toiling Rodney Reindeer Give Rodney and Rhonda Reindeer this Christmas, they're only at Hallmark Sunday, it's George C. Scott in a brilliant adaptation of a Christmas classic as magical spirits teach lessons of the heart to a miser named Scrooge. Every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips <laughs> should be boiled in his own pudding. I love that everyone. A Christmas Carol. Humbug. This is CBS. This Friday, three tales of Christmas, a failing Santa's greatest day. I don't think there are very many bags like this around. A beleaguered secretary's perfect world. You're a secretary? And a cosmic Christmas gift from long, long ago. Season's greetings from the Twilight Zone.
paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. With the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game, we're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. So hang on to your seat Get ready for adventure and remarkable feats You'll meet the Koopas and Troopas The Princess and the others Hanging with the plumbers You'll be hooked on the brothers to the bridge Bing, bing, bang, boom, bang. Huh? That's fast, Mario. That's fast. That's poetry in motion. Boom, bing. Hey, Ryan. What are you doing here? And what's with the suitcase? I, I'm selling pots and pans door to door. Ryan. How about encyclopedias? Ryan. Would you believe Tupperware? Really? Ryan. Okay, I admit it. I'm lying like a dog. I'm running away from home. Boy, I didn't think I'd crack that easy. Why are you running away from home? My parents don't love me anymore. So I'm going to teach them a lesson. And when I'm gone, are they going to miss me? Ryan, maybe we should talk a little about this before. Mario Brothers and plumbing's the game. Found the secret water tunnel while working on the drain. Lend the princess a hand in the mushroom land. Jump the action with the plumbers, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Now, evil Koopa and his troopers are up to misbehaving. They kidnapped the princess mushroom land, need saving. Abusing and confusing, everybody discovers they can't help but be hooked. Something 
I wanted to give to you. Did someone say something about a present? I've always got time to get a Christmas present. Merry Christmas, Toad. After all your hints, I decided to give you just what you wanted. Yummy!
Mario, that could be thin ice. If it'll hold Koopa and Santa, it must be a hundred feet thick. <laughs> you think those spaghetti heads are gonna rescue you? Forget it. I got friends in this neck of the woods. Claus would send his flurries to fight us. We have to get past those flurries. Let's fight fire with fire. You mean fight ice with ice. Special present. How 
pizza, guys. I hate to run away and empty stomach. Mm. You know, Brian, I've been thinking, no matter how bad you think things are, you don't want to run away. Trust me on this. Sorry, guys. I've made up my mind. I'll teach my parents to appreciate me. Brian, you may not believe this, but when Luigi and I were kids, I ran away from home. Really? Yeah, it's true, Brian. Why, I remember. It was like yesterday. <laughs> Boys, how many times do I have to tell you not to fight? Mario, since you're the oldest, you should know better. You're grounded. <laughs> but no, but you only grabbed me five times this week. Well then, go peel the garlic for the next five days. Oh, Mama, no, not the garlic. It makes me smell so bad, even I don't want to play with me. Are you happy now? And she goes, she's punishing me again, man. You always get me punished. I tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to run away from home. Okay. I'm going to run away from home. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I'm so scared, maybe I shouldn't have run away from home. I know, I'll do what I do whenever I'm scared. Watch these scenes from the next Legend of Zelda. Boy, you must have been fun out on your own. Oh no, and little did I know that back home the hearts of my poor family were breaking. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were miserable. Please get the best popcorn. Please get the best time. I have the whole to myself. I told you, you're the bestest mama in the whole world. I love this. Yeah. And without your brother here, there's a lot more for us. Yeah. <laughs> mom, I'm sorry I ran away from home. You're probably worried sick. About what? Mom, <laughs> did you miss me? No. I don't miss your yelling. I didn't miss your fighting with your brother. And I didn't miss your room in the mess. But you, I miss. Oh, my, my. <laughs> what is that for, my lost in case? Boy, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Mario, that story was so beautiful. I'm ready to barf. <laughs> yeah, but have you learned a lesson, Brian? Huh? I shouldn't run away because my parents will enjoy it too much. That's right! <laughs> Brian. I better hurry home before the popcorn's gone. Okay, Brian, good luck. Thanks a lot. Thank you for visiting. Bye. Take care, Brian. So too much Tupperware. Watch the cars. <laughs> nice kid. He's a great kid. Boy, were we miserable when you ran away. Boy, oh, oh, oh. sure. <laughs> Side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. You got it. It's the Mario. Do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. Santa 
New Coca-Cola Santa Packs, the only real holiday refreshment. Look for this display at your store. With new games like Ken Griffey Jr.'s Major League Baseball, Tetris Plus, and Donkey Kong Land 3, the world is a better place. <laughs> nice earrings. Nice hearing aid. What? Grab your gift list and hurry into Circuit City's holiday sale. Save now, don't wait. It's the best time to buy with great low prices guaranteed through Christmas. Like a Magnavox 19-inch TV with cable-ready tuner and remote. Only $227.97. And a Sony 8mm camcorder. Enjoy easy operation, power zoom, and more. Just $899.97. Save now, don't wait. Hurry into the holiday sale. Welcome to Circuit City, where services state of the art. What do you want for Christmas? I want a bicycle, a triceratops, a talk show. I want a younger brother. I want a Big Bacon Classic from Wendy's, Biggie fries, an ice cold drink to go with it, and a skateboard. Happy holidays, folks. Eighty-four cents in profits. How can I increase my power with a paltry sum like this? Brazil! Every time the league makes more money, you raise your salary. Here's your invite to the league holiday party at the shelter tomorrow. Now, how much can I put you down for? We're still a little short in toys for the orphans. That reminds me. How are the preparations coming? We should be ready to ship 20,000 units by morning. When this toy hits the market tomorrow, every child will beg their parents to buy them one. What about the orphans? Let them get jobs and buy their own. Now arrange a press conference. So I have decided to plead my case to the public, to the owners, and to the athletes. For many years, I have allowed the Mutant League to operate at a loss. However, it has become impossible to pay for the upkeep of the Doom Dog. The Mutant League is now in jeopardy of being shut down. I never thought I'd live to hear it! Don't believe it. Just how much money did the League lose last year? The details aren't important. What is important is what we can all do to help. Here it comes. To 
cover expenses, I am going to have to charge the owners a higher royalty. We can't afford a higher royalty. I'll cut my salary to help out for the good of the league. CP, the less the players make, the less I make. If I knew they'd give in so easily, I'd have asked for more. In fact, I believe I will. Man, you are colder than a naked polar bear. Well, it is Christmas. <laughs> Touchdown and field goal combo. That's nine points in a real game. We're just getting down for free. It's raising royalties another 50%. What? And you're going to have to launder your own uniforms. Mrs. M, can't you do something about this? Prig's the commissioner, and in matters of league policy, he has the final word. He has the only word more like it. How am I supposed to pay my rent? You can move in with me. Hey, we all got a sacrifice. We want to help the League. How noble. We are all doing what we can. So then you won't mind if we take a look at the books? That is out of the question. The Players' Union will not consent to any more cuts without proof. Oh my. I'll have to speak to the Commissioner about that. Commissioner Prig, the players refuse to cut their salaries. What can we do? Well, Zalgo, if they won't cut them voluntarily, I suppose you'll have to impose a salary cap. Oh my, do you think they'll go for it? I don't believe they have a choice. <laughs> Happy holidays, boys! at a press conference where Bones Justice is expected to respond on behalf of the players to Zalgor Prigg's newly imposed salary cap. As of now, the Mutant League athletes are on strike. How dare they strike? I'll bring on Scott players. Zally, nobody understands this business better than me. Yeah. Except you, of course. <laughs> All I'm saying is, there's more than enough Jack to go round. They think they've outsmarted me, but I'll have the last laugh. I'll lock them out of the Doom Dome. They'll come crawling back. We'll have to stay in chat, CP, but I gotta run. Turkey dinner. Can't keep Mom waiting. Happy freaking holidays. Holidays? Come back. This is the toy I've spent millions developing. What it may lack in aesthetic appeal, it makes up for in dynamic impact. How does it work? It functions on the principle of accessing stored memories and desires. You simply put on the headgear and press this button. In moments, you will enter a new level of virtual reality. Well? I do not understand. I calibrated this unit myself. Idiot! It nearly killed me! Hmm. I will look for the circuitry flaw next week. We will have to ship after the new year. You'll find and fix that flaw tonight, before you leave! But sir, Christmas Eve. Get to work! Hello, I'm Sal Gore Prig. As you know, every year at this time, Grip Industries introduces a new toy designed to delight and educate children everywhere. Of course, you remember some of our past year's favorites. For example, Plutonium Pete. Designed to teach children firsthand the dangers of a nuclear radiation. And of course, who could forget the ever popular Killer Bee Farm? 
This year, I am pleased to announce the introduction of a toy that will entertain mutants and norms of all ages. The Grip Industries Virtuality Headset. Remember, when you lose your grip on reality, grip onto virtuality. Who? Who are you? Don't you recognize me? This can't be real. Perhaps this is help. What's justice? Yes, Al Gore. But how can this be? You're... I am not here to discuss myself. I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Of what? Tonight you shall be visited by three others. Take heed to what they teach you. Otherwise your future will be in grave peril. What a dream. I should be more careful of what I eat before bedtime. No one's arguing with that. Malone, what are you doing here? Mutant League passed at your service. Come on, we don't have all night. Center Park, I haven't been here since. Twelve years past. Can it really be that long? Watch and remember. Here it is, boss. Thirty tons of toxic sludge for your industrial park. Just sign here and I'll take it to the reclamation site. Thirty thousand? I don't think so. Look, boss. I don't make it. I just haul it. And cleaning it up ain't cheap. I understand. You've had a long day. My driver will take you home. Who's gonna drive the stuff to the plant? I will. I want to talk to your plant manager about these charges. I don't know. It's kind of irregular. But what the hey, I've never been in a limo. Thirty grand saved is thirty grand earned, and I hate to see all this empty space go to waste. started on your path of greed early, and what did it get you? She was away the day of the quake and was spared the mutating effects of the gas. How could you possibly love this face? It is not your face I love, silly. It's the beautiful man behind it. He doesn't exist anymore, if he ever did. Please go. And don't come back. Without love, you had nothing to temper your greed and ambition. I've seen enough of what you have to show me. Justice! Please, Mutant League, present. What could you possibly have to show me? Glad you asked. Lizard, get some service around here. Come on at you, bloody hot. Thrash it, Nelson. Hey, cuckoo, baby. Oh, how'd all you people get in our room? Dashing through the zone, the feeling a okay. We've got no shame. Champagne. 
make our heads go light We step out of the acid rain Let our dreams take flight Ho, ho! Jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun to cuddle up With your love on Christmas Day Jingle bells, cuckoo bells We don't mind the storm Bundle up near the fireplace I've got my chick to keep me warm This chick right here, cuckoo baby You better believe it Hey, you're all right Run for cover, run and hide What do you mean you want to bone just this action figure? You're not some kind of wuss, are you? You tell your parents you want a KT Slayer and you don't want nothing else. Never mind. I'll tell them myself. I thought without sports, the athletes would sink into despair. Well, you thought wrong. You're very well wet. Give my tail, baby. This has to be a dream. You cannot do two places at once. Thanks for reminding me. Bones Justice playing possum, much to the chagrin of Madman, and now the mutt has to spend time in the rejuvenator this holiday season. That's gotta hurt. Oh, that was close. Sherry Steele on the spot with a special report. It seems even the strike isn't enough to keep our pro athletes from doing what they love best, and the fans can't get enough. It seems you're the only one not there. Not the only one. Anyway, I'm heading over when I'm done with you. If I could get my hands on Brick, I'd break him in two. <laughs> Dark Star, honey, please. I don't want any ill words spoken on this holiday. I'd like to propose a toast to Zelgor Prig. What? I ain't toasting to Prig. Think about it. Because of Prig, we went on strike, and the strike gave us a common goal. So he's responsible for all of us sharing this holiday as a family. Yo, the She Mutant's right. We got each other. All the Nopsters got is money. Pretty poor company during the holidays. To Zelgor Prig. To, to Zelgor Prig! Maybe I've been a tad hard on everyone. Perhaps I could agree to launder their uniforms. I take it I am addressing the mutantly yet to come. Yo, raise a kid, bringing you the sports as they happen. We're here in the Doom Dome for the big matchup between the Midway Monsters and the Screaming Evils! Hmm. I always knew his talent was in his mouth. Remember, concentrate, anticipate, and most of all... Take no prisoners! Now get out there and make me proud! Humors! We carry nothing but spikies! Now get out of here before I bulvergrade you! Take me to my office. I must see what I've become. After the great strike of 2012, forcing the original Mutant League to disband, your subservient relationship with Zelgor Prig underwent something of a transformation. I'll say 10% of that guy was a lot of do-ray me, but 100% suits me better. Kang runs the League? This is preposterous! How could this happen? Y'all knew Malone. He was a good friend, a loving father, and the best coach in the history of the Mutant League. Unfortunately, he never could overcome the heartbreak of the Great Strike. Malone, dead? Why are you showing me this? Yes, he had many friends. But where am I? Am I so cold that I wouldn't even attend the funeral of malicious Malone? That sad excuse for a mutant broke my father. Me? 
If he were here right now, I'd show him exactly what I think of him. Well, where am I? You die now. No, please, don't let it end this way. I don't want to go. Not like this. Unloved. Unwept. Please, give me another chance. Another chance. Sam. What? What day is it? It is Christmas morning. Christmas morning? Then they've done it. They've given me another chance. Another chance? What are you doing here? Go home. Better yet, come with me. We have some shopping to do. But sir, the shipment... Can wait. We have more important things to take care of. I'm still invited. Of course you are, ZP. Happy holidays. Frognog Zelgor? I'd be delighted. Juka, what's gotten into Prig? I am afraid he has undergone a rather rigorous virtuality check. How long is he going to be like this? There is no way of knowing. One can only hope. After announcing his unprecedented salary cap on the Mutant League, Zelgor Prig has reconsidered his decision. All player salaries shall be restored to their previous levels. In response, the athletes have called off their strike. To celebrate, the first 400,000 fans to arrive will be treated to a free holiday all-star game. And all proceeds will be donated to charity. Holidays, everyone! This holiday season, McDonald's is celebrating Disney and Pixar's A Bug's Life with six Chicken McNuggets for only 99 cents. There's no... Heimlich! Look what you've done! I was hungry! How am I gonna get us out of this one? Hmm. Mm, who says there's nothing good on TV? Six McNuggets for just 99 cents? Did somebody say McDonald's? Mmm! Just when they thought it was safe to break out of prison. Hiya, pal. Don't you know a kid always wins against two idiots? Oops. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Did you guys give up? Never! 
Rated PG. Starts Friday, November 20th at theaters everywhere. 7-Up wants to make you a believer. You can get $10 in free groceries and 7-Up for your family with Uncola Miracle Money. It's true. Just see the new Miracle on 34th Street movie. Then stop by a 7-Up display for details on how Miracle Money can help make your season jolly. <laughs> Why all the excitement? Because with Uncola Miracle Money, you can get $10 in free groceries and 7-Up. I knew it. Just see the new Miracle on 34th Street movie. Hey! Then stop by a 7-Up display for Miracle Money details. And have a happy holiday. Jingle bells, Santa smells, Christmas really stunk. I got nothing that I like, my gifts were all just junk. Boxes full of clothes, CDs no one knows. When I wanted something for my Nintendo 64. Zelda's great to rock to, South Park would be fine. How about Rogue Squadron? That game should be mine. Make up for a lame Christmas. Get the hits you missed on N64. Mom and Dad, I'm so sad. You know, Sam, Christmas with your granny has never been better. Each year I wish it would get better, but it never does. That's all gonna change tonight, Max. Do tell. Instead of hunkering down to view the requisite gush of holiday classics on TV, Granny has planned a special Christmas Eve excursion. Oh boy, it's the mothership calling me home to my people. My guess is it's a surprise holiday ambush, Max. You draw their fire with some of your endearing antics while I hustle Granny down to the cellar where she'll be safe behind a bunker wall of homemade preserves. Suit up, boys! We're moving out! Old Granny is quite the authoritarian, Sam. That's the walking boss in her, Max. For 40 years, she was the warden at Blood Island Maximum Security Penitentiary. Wow! Turning her unprotected back to them like that says a lot. They must have respected and or feared her a great deal. Yeah, they called her the Iron Maiden. Better buckle up! We'll be touching down any minute now. And where might that be, I am? A little place that's sorely in need of some holiday cheer. Blood Island. Ah, oh, it's good to be home. Oh, fine. I was hoping my last Christmas would be spent as an elf-shaped appetizer in a den full of psychotic criminal man-eaters. Don't fret, little pal. They'll probably keep you alive for some time. It's all right. Let them go. They love that old girl. What's she doing here? She'll ruin everything. On the contrary, her coming here could provide just the distraction we need. Christmas truly has come early this year. <laughs> <laughs> You shaggy bunch of self-propelled human refuse. Mrs. Claus is a lot of anxious lifers to see. Keep it moving. Merry Christmas, lad. What are you in for? Ate my parole officer with fava beans and seltzer. Up you go. See some greeting steel, Connie Root. A pack of chocolate six says this guy's glaringly absent from Santa's nice list. Hmm. Can't say I'm pleased to bump into you, Herzog. Imagine, 43 escape attempts? Oh, I call myself a forgiven woman, but mercy me, I have my limits. And I know you. A leopard doesn't change its shorts. Oh, but I have changed, Granny. You'll never know how sorry I am for all the grief I once caused you. Aw, uh, what do you say, Granny? Forgiveness is the greatest gift. Besides sock monkeys and chattering teeth. Well... It is Christmas. Oh! Uh-oh. 
This can't be good. A total blackout in a room full of violent offenders? Ah, don't be such a fussy pants. Stay close, boys. This place is built like a labyrinth. Luckily, I know the layout like the liver spots on the back of my hand. A liver spots liver shape? And if not, why not? Talk amongst yourselves. We've got to stop Herzog and his goons from their insane grab for freedom. If only we knew Herzog's next move. <gasps> Permission to crawl back into your good books, Granny. Permission granted, Maxwell. All right, son. Out with it. I ain't talking to you. Can I climb down his throat now? Let me climb down his throat now. A little later, Max. Granny's busy. I know your dear old mother, Jakes. I don't think she'd be pleased to hear you've been back talking, Granny Ruth. Hello, Mrs. Jakes. <gasps> it's about your boy. Okay, okay. Hedgehog had us round up the guards while he heads upstairs. He's gonna take the warden hostage. Oh, please don't tell my mommy. That'll do. Now there's a move every parent should know at bedtime. Ah, it's an old trick I learned in the Merchant Marines. Saved my hash in Korea once or twice. Don't toggle, boys. Remember, idle hands get caught in busy machinery. I know Herzog. He'll use the service tunnels through the shower room to get to the warden. That's where we'll intercept him. Looks like the end of the line. Now I know how snake food feels. Here's a place you never see on the tour. The prison showers. Gee, if these walls could talk. I think it's best if they keep their mouths shut. <laughs> They're coming. Quick, turn on the hot water everywhere. In here, jokers. I know a way we can bypass those itchy guards. Only two people know of these passages. Myself and... I need ah! mm, Looks like it's just you and me, Herzog. Shall we dance? Some us a time, perhaps. For you see, I have an appointment with South Warden. <laughs> Please don't make me go down there. For the life of me, I don't know how we'll catch up to that rascal now. The Warden's in great danger. Gee, Granny, I'm sure we can figure something out. <laughs> Try this. I feel like a weird ping pong ball. This cool northern air is a welcome blast to my blistering southern regions. Hold on to your hats, boys. You're in for a bumpy ride. Misdemeanor, get me the National Guard. We've been cut off. Put the phone down, Warden. I Herzog will be calling the shots from now on. What is that? That's boosting sound. That went rather well. I love surprises. Herzog! Mm -hmm. Don't you know it's not polite to point? It's Granny! To <laughs> Lieber! Ah! Oh! Well, that was an unconventional use of a beloved holiday treat. A glutton for punishment always gets his fill. Uh, everything okay here? We're fine, thanks. Naughty? Yes, very, very naughty. And you guys, nice? Very nice. They're good boys. Sign here, please. Thanks. See you next year. Until we meet again! <laughs>
<laughs> well, that was an unnecessary display. There's nothing out there but 30 miles of open sea. He's shark bait for sure. That reminds me. Wasn't there a big old holiday spread down in the mess hall before all this unpleasantness began? Hack me up a slab of that D-ring. I'm riding the night train to Pastryville. You know, Max, this is not only the most action-packed Christmas I've ever experienced, but the first chance I've ever really had to bond with my sweet granny. Yeah, you just can't help but love a scary old gal like her. I don't know what to say, Ruth. You and your boys have restored order to Blood Island and given a little bit of Christmas back to these troubled souls. This is the nicest present any warden could ever ask for. I'm glad you feel that way, Ward. I really am. But my Christmas wish would have been hanging old Herzog up by his stockings with care. Looks like there's one more package. And it's for Granny Ruth. A present for me? I don't recall asking St. Nick for anything. Something's wedged in here. Pretty good. Herzog! Yavol! But how? He got clean away! We saw it with our own eyes! Hey, you don't suppose. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! We'd even think of employing such a sugary ending! Well, Max, I guess the only thing left to say is a Merry Christmas to all! And to y'all, good night! <laughs> Perimeter is secure, Sam. Man your positions. This is it. And you don't think our viewing habits are getting a tad extreme? Shut up! Shut up! It's starting! Tonight on America's Funniest Film Tragedies, when clown acts go bad. And in our follow -up. We're losing her! Code Blue! This is not a drill! Clear! I'll pay you cash for your used mattress! Again! Again, again, again! It's no use, pal. I'm afraid we're gonna have to pull the plug. Ah! Well, it's gone on to a better place, Max. I myself draw comfort in the notion that perhaps the Almighty needed Schlock TV even more than we do. That's beautiful, Sam. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to spend some time alone with her. Of course. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go catch the rest of the show on the Geek Set. Have a nice afterlife! To the lab! <laughs> Your patented pneumatic light rail cargo pod is running like a fine Swiss watch, Geek. Geek? No doubt she's absorbed in high-level closed-door doings concerning a matter of the utmost urgency and import. Either that or she's taking a little potty break. That's what I said. Now, where does she keep the old boob tube? Looks like one of the Geek's experiments. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program, already in progress. Black and white programming! Look away, Sam! Avert your eyes! And change the channel! Where's the remote? I think with these old units, you actually have to touch them. Ew! <laughs> If my dad were here, he'd sure have something to say about that. It's all old stuff! Where's our show, Sam? I got a sneaking suspicion that the Geeks TV only picks up long-forgotten programming from television's primordial past.
So much for catching the rest of our show. Heidi ho boys and girls! Your old pal Dangly Deavers here to bring you laughter and good cheer! On the upside, the gods of Slim Chance have awarded us this enchanted wooden plaything. Or as I like to call it, target practice. And, uh, now a word from our sponsors. Gosh, a Rooney, boys and girls. Looks like our two newest members of Dangly's Do Good Gang need a large lesson in caring. <laughs> I got a splinter with lead paint. You lucky pup. Now, don't forget, put it under your pillow so the Splinter Fairy can leave you a shiny new 2 by 4 Hey, wait just a ding-dong dangly minute. This isn't Dangly's woodshed. What is this strange place? What's happened to me? Near as I can fathom, utilizing my pliable partner as a makeshift antenna has resulted in a lagomorphic temporal rift, which hurled you through TV history like an economy-sized rubber band. Yow! You mean this is the future? Neato keen! Have we landed on Mars? Wiped out famine and disease? Got domestic robots tending to our every need? Sure we have. Although I can't speak for the rest of the world. Thank you. Be gone. Glorioski! Dangly just can't wait to see what a super swell place the world turned out to be! Goodness gracious, the world certainly has changed. Hi, Kidaroonies. Do you know what time it is? Time for a whooping. Rimini <laughs> Ricketts, has everyone forgotten about niceness and caring? I'm afraid they went out of fashion, right along with poodle skirts and funding for the arts. And the world has no more use for a do-gooder like me. Dangly Deaver time is <coughs> over. No! I just hate to see a grown marionette cry. I wish he'd stop. Me too, little buddy. But chucking him into the wood chipper might seriously jeopardize our relationship with the sponsors. So long, friends. Dangly Deaver is <laughs> signing off. Dangly, wait! Let him go, Max. Sometimes a little wooden boy scout needs to be by himself. I was just going to tell him to watch out for that street sweeper. Oh. Hmm. This mess has Sam and Max written all over it. Hi, kid of Roonies. Guess who? I'm Deathly Dangly Deaver, an evil underachiever. Say hi to my big knee cleaver. Then make out your will today. Then make out your will today. Then make out your will today. Deathly Dangly Deaver. Wait a second. Aren't you that lovable, bright-as-a-button marionette who encourages children to perform good deeds? For many years, yes. But not anymore! I'm Dangly's evil side, and thanks to your TV, I'm free! Free to do anything I want! Now, if you excuse me, me and my evil side have got to spread a little that unkindness good. and that ill will. Is good. That is good. Find Sam and Max. They'd kill me if they missed out on this. Ah! That television was so impetuously tampered with was designed to intercept ancient TV signals for historical research. When you sucked Dangly Deaver out of the airwaves, you only got half of them. His good half. Now his evil half is off raising Cain with his buddy. <laughs> Our only hope is to merge these video icons gone bad back with their good hats, which means we have to lure them to the sub-basement of solitude. So how do we do that? Here, evil TV icons, come get the big happy face. After it! One exciting and highly expensive chase sequence later. I've reversed the cathode flux anomaly so it'll send them back where they came from. Here they come! Table for all six? Evil icons? Mm -hmm. They don't seem to have a reservation, Maxwell. No reservation? No loitering! Our 
Your highly improbable plan worked, Sam. He's got me! And now, please stand by for all eternity! No! Ah! Do you know what your problem is? You're bad! Bad, bad, bad! We're all set. Grab the bad dangly and send him back! He's the evil one! Send him back! You lie! He's the evil one! Quick! Which one is which? Uh... No! <laughs> That's our boy! Don't! Hurry, Kinaroos! Zap us! Send us back where we belong! The dangly! If we do, you'll be sent back too! Forever banished to television land! Don't you see? I'm useful again! I've never felt so alive! Besides, bad as he is, he's still part of me. It's the only way! He's right, do-gooders. They both have to go back, for fine grain cannot exist without the balance of coarse bark. Huh? Until next time, kitty! Farewell, <laughs> Well, that's that. I'm gonna miss that little knothead. He's not really gone, as long as we have our memories of him. And early morning reruns, of course. Reruns! Wait a minute. Come back here. What about this mess? Let the robot clean it up. Uh. Hey, Cracks. Hey, Tom. This Christmas, you can buy another toy, or you can buy this. The Sega Master System of Entertainment, with super-sensitive control pads and a pinpoint accurate light phaser that even registers misses. The unique Sega card with 256K memory and even more. Our mega cartridge with an unbelievable four times more power than most cartridges. It's a future of excitement. The Sega Master System of Interactive Video Entertainment. Why did Mom give you the silver? I, I was supposed to get the Where silver. Where were you when Mom was sick? Oh, that's right. Excuse you were in me. Florida with that Don't guy. talk to my me. wife that way. Talk to any way I want to. Excuse, Excuse me. me. You know, you're, you're not even got got relevant. Relevant. I've got to say, I think I want to be a Democrat. Okay, time out. Fangs and claws away. Peace on Earth. Goodwill to each other. Where's the law? <laughs> you can't stop, Grandma. <laughs> you can't. PlayStation. Sega Genesis. I heard Matt got a Sega Genesis. Well, I guess one more is okay. The Sega Genesis. Game cartridges sold separately. Yummy fruity pebbles and apples. Oh, oh, here comes you know who. Yabba dabba fruit, delicious too. Oh, 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 I'm uh, uh, hungry. Santa, my pebbles. Your pebbles? Tis the season to be sharing, Fred. Happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereals, part of this nutritious oh, breakfast. Oh, oh. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the town. Turtle Santa drove like crazy to not let the kids down. Instead of a sleigh, a truck full of toys destined to be the presents for good girls and boys. But evil thieves wanted to steal the toys at all costs. Poor, poor Turtle Santa. All hope was lost. Turtles! Mutant chain reaction Turtle. Living underground Jitsu action Turtle. It's a shell of a town Turtles count it off Live by the code of the martial arts Turtle. They're the finalists Someone else starts Always stick together no matter what oh. If all else 
Christmas time. I love it. Even if I have to wear this scratchy scarf. Hey! Uh, sorry, mister. I wasn't aiming at you. I was trying to hit Jimmy. <laughs> Tell you what, kid. Let me borrow your sled for a bit and we'll call it even. Hey, I made a snow turtle. Maybe I'll start a new trend. Hey, mister, you do some sick tricks. You're all right. Yep, best town in the world, especially at Christmas. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Oh, poor little guy. All alone out here in the cold? No collar. Hmm. Come on. You'll be nice and warm in here. And maybe we can find you a home. April, you have returned. With the tree, as promised, we had to go to three different lots. They're almost all sold out. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't need any help or nothing. Ow! Hey, hey, Case, watch the tree, will you? We don't want it damaged. Whoa! <sighs> oh, no, I'm okay. Thanks for all your concern. I didn't break nothing. I just had a huge stone elevator door slam shut on my head. No biggie. Ooh. Yeah, you're lucky it was your head and nothing important. Perhaps we had best start cooking the dinner. Count me in. Cooking the holiday dinner is almost as fun as eating it. That's not what Mikey would say. Yeah, where is that bozo? I'm starting to worry about him. He's been gone all day. Come on, it's Christmas Eve. Even Mikey couldn't get into trouble on a night like tonight. Unless he stops by the toy store... again. I... I can't take it! They've got the new Sergeant Guts and Glory action figure with remote control tank! And they've got the new Captain Fanatic space probe! And the Mavis moon jumper! And of course, they're sold out of the Little Orphan Alien dolls. Boy, those things just won't stay on the shelf. That's one hot toy. You said it, Clunk. You don't mind if I call you Clunk, do you? I always wanted a cat named Clunk. No, oh, get back! Leave me alone! What do you want? Just your truck. And all the little orphan aliens in it. You can't steal this truck. This whole lot of little orphan aliens is being donated to the Brown Street Children's Home. Have a heart, will you? It's Christmas! And that's why we're giving ourselves this truck. It's our Christmas present! Uh, uh. Ho, 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 bozo! <laughs> Man! Just imagine how much we'll get for these things on the internet! These little orphan alien dolls go for five times what you pay for them in the stores! And we didn't pay nothing! <laughs> <laughs> they haven't paid yet, but they will! Better lay low, Clunk! Things might get a little rough. Wrath, what's with the uh, butterfly swords? Just trim the tree. Man, 
I'm good. I should have been a barber. Little off the top? Uh, no thanks. Christmas cookies are in the oven. Who wants to lick the bowl? This is sweet! Normally, Mikey hogs all the good stuff. Maybe we ought to go look for Mikey. Nah, he'll be okay. He's probably on his way back right now. and Spike! Yo, it's Sonny. I'm on 18th and 1st. I got some freak on my case. I could use a little backup. Got it. I'll meet you halfway. Oh, oh, oh. Where's he going? Call the cops! Those guys are crooks! They tried to hijack this truck! You get off! This is one Bravo 14. We got the third perf that hijacked the truck full of toys. Looks like there's still a fourth hijacker hanging onto the truck. And now for the fun part. Driving! Check it out, Blunt! Do in a situation. 
place like this, Clunk? He ain't gonna stop! He ain't gonna stop! Guests. Sorry about the blindfolds, folks. Matt is the security and all that jazz. You know I can see through this blindfold with my X-ray vision, right? Just play along, will ya? It's from Master Splinter. He's got this thing about letting people know where we live. Merry Christmas, everybody. And Happy Kwanzaa. Thank you so much for inviting us. You are all welcome in our home. Man. Those dudes wear their turtle costumes even on Christmas. Uh, yup. So, where's my sidekick? Where's the turtle titan? I thought Michelangelo would be here. Yeah, so do we. Uh, don't worry, he'll be here any minute. It's what James Bond would do! Do something! Get me closer. I'll blow out his tires. Nice driving, dipstick. Tailgaters! <laughs> Yo, what do you know? Mistletoe. Ain't we supposed to kiss or something? That's not enough mistletoe to make me kiss you. I'm afraid you'll need a whole tree. Whoa! Check it out! More mistletoe! Hey, bro, wait up! More mistletoe! There's no way out of it. You gotta kiss me. Look! It's following us. It's a sign. A sign from above. Exactly. Hi, April. What you got there? Mistletoe. <laughs> Jones, did you put them up to this? No, never. Uh, maybe. Okay, then. Pucker up. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, right in the kisser. It is an honor to be in your home, Splinter Sensei. The honor is all mine. Kori suma suo me dato, Leonardo san. I got you something. A sword? Wicked! I got you something, too. A sword? What a wonderful gift. Nice letter openers, boys. Now where's the free chow? I'm starving! Please, come. All are welcome at our table. Dragon bozos, and I end up on the world's scariest police chases! Yo! I'm one of the good guys! Hello, a police roadblock. For what I am about to do, forgive me! Do it! 
Forgive me, Mr. Jones. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Yo, April, give it up, will ya? Raph and I couldn't beat him. There's no way you... You were saying, Casey Jones? Thanks. I think they fell for it. My pleasure. And, as promised, your reward. Actually, the look on those guys' faces was reward enough. Okay, I'll just give three dozen of my famous double chocolate cookies to the guys then. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean that. I'll take them. I love cookies. Hmm. Hmm. Splinter? Dinner's ready. Um, you okay, Sensei? Yes, my son. I am fine. Just visiting an old friend. Ah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Let's chow down on the holiday goodies. No, this is a time for family and being together. We must wait for Michelangelo. Where is that bum? <laughs> Mikey another five minutes, but that's it. The food's getting cold. Agreed. You better get here soon, that bonehead. Everybody, meet my friend, Clunk! Mikey, where have you been? Our guests have been waiting. It is very rude. I know, I'm sorry, but you're not going to believe what happened. Mikey, we don't want to hear some lame story. Uh-uh-uh, Raph. Remember, this is supposed to be a season of giving. Yeah, and I'm thinking about giving you a well-seasoned smack upside the head. Guys, it's Christmas Eve! It's a time to remember those less fortunate than ourselves. In fact, it's a time not to think of ourselves at all. And I have just the ticket. Michelangelo is right. This is definitely a time for thinking of others. A season of giving. Happy holidays, everybody!